Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome to our space. Today we are going to be making some paper crafts. I have this paper pack that came from Michael's I think a couple years ago and I pulled out some. This is some dark green with light green snowflakes. I'm just showing you the black one so that you can see how big it was. It was 12 by 12 and I cut them up into equal sizes. They are six by six and we are going to take and bend one over to show you how we're going to cut them. You need six of these squares all together. We fold it into one triangle and then over again into another triangle. Now make sure you have the side that you have two pieces on. That's the side we're going to cut. Don't cut the other side. We're going to cut the side that has the two pieces sticking out. And we're going to cut it up the straight side that's the longest here. Do not cut it all the way through to the top. I'm going to make three cuts on this here and then you will see what it looks like when we open it up. These are just three straight lines on the side that the, had the two sides and then it looks like this. Okay, so on the two sides, you're going to cut straight up and I'm going to cut this one just a little bit more and not on the side where it's completely folded. All right. So then we're going to spread it out open like this and we are going to start to make a snowflake. This is going to take all six pieces to make this snowflake. So I'm going to show you that this middle section here is kind of hard to pull and stuff on over the way we're going to actually fold it down. So I just bent this one here to show you that's what we're going to do. We're going to fold it over. But I'm going to start all of mine by folding the second section. The second two pieces in on each other and we're going to put a dab of hot glue on the corner and then fold the other one over on that and it's going to make like a loop that you can put your finger through and we're just going to hold that until it hardens and dries. I hope this makes sense but you can see what I'm doing. So that one is hardened and dried and then I'm going to flip it over and then glue the other side. It just makes it easier for me at least with my long nails and stuff and I think it, it holds it better when you do it this way. And we're just going to hold that side until it dries and then we're going to flip it over. So it is white on the side because we fold it in the two sides in on the green side and then the other side we had folded it in on the white side so it looked green. So now on this side, we are going to do the same thing again because we already folded the next one over in the back. And so now you're going to fold this one over in the front too. I know it's a little bit strange, but it's just easier that way. You'll see if you try to make this. So once this side hardens and dries, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to do the two green on this side together. A little dab of hot glue with my Ryobi Big Bad Boy hot glue gun and then hold it and wait until that hardens and dries. And as you can see sideways, it's kind of too white on one side and too green on the top. Like too white on the bottom and too green on the top. You get it? So let's just do this again, part of it anyway, so you can just see how I met with the middle. So instead of doing the middle right away, I am going to do the next ones up and they're going to be green on the outside when you see it because we're going to fold them in on each other and they'll be green. Then once that hardens and dries, we're going to flip it over and do like the diamond shape in the middle and fold them over on each other and glue them and they will be white. I hope you guys get this. This is such an easy DIY to do. I'm going to make six of these all together. Okay? I'm not going to show you the rest of this one because it's an easy thing. You can back up and watch it again. So this is what they look like. Two of the bigger sides are green and then the other side is white. So next we are going to go ahead and glue these two together. We're going to glue them on the bottom to each other. So we're going to put the green side up against the white side and stick these two together so the points stick together and we're just going to hold it until it hardens and dries. Just like this. Once that is done, we're going to grab a third one and do the exact same thing to these. 
Now you wanna make sure you glue them the same exact way. So if you pick it up like this and put the two white sides together, that's wrong. You need to flip it over and then glue the two green sides together, like the back of the green to the back of the green, like this. So then you have white, green, white, green. And you're gonna do that in two sets of three. You have six all together. So this is one set of three that we did this to. And then after this has hardened and dried, we're gonna set this one aside and we're gonna do it to the next set of three. So you're gonna take another one and then you're going to put the green on the same side and then you're going to go ahead and not put the whites together. You're gonna to put the green on the back of the other green. And then you have two sets, okay? So now it's time to glue them together, the two sets together. And this way is the wrong way. You see this? The two green sides are touching. You don't want to glue it like this with the two green sides touching and then at the bottom, the two white sides touch. We're going to flip it over one of them and glue green on top of white, just like we did before. So that all the sides go green, white, green, white, green, white. You only have to do this if you use a paper that is white on one side or different on one side than the other. That way, this is the pattern. You have it equal all around. And this is what it looks like. I am hanging it from fishing wire from my light up top and it spins and it is a very pretty like snowflake. I know it looks black and white, but it is green. The lighting just would not get good for me. So now let's make a different one. I'm gonna change the pattern to show you that you can make these so many different ways. I used to do these all the time and I was actually gonna do this with my granddaughter, but it really, really snowed here and so she didn't come over today. So now I'm making four cuts in this, real thin four cuts instead of three. So you're gonna have more sections. So we're gonna do the same thing to begin with. Put the two green sides together to make a loop that your finger will fit through. Hold it until it's all dried. Then instead of going over and doing the diamond part, we're gonna leave that flat and we're gonna skip to the next section and go and do the white side. See, the diamond side didn't get done. We're gonna do the next section. Then we're gonna flip it back over and we're gonna glue the tip of this to the back of the diamond, leaving the diamond flat. Do you see that? We're gonna turn it around and do the other side as well. So these don't touch each other. They touch the back of the diamond. This is different than what we did the last time. This is an extra section that we have. Then I'm going to flip it over and glue these to the middle of the white section, not to each other. I mean, they will touch each other, but to the middle of the white section. We want it all the way down to the middle of the white section. And then you're gonna do the other side and you're gonna make six of these as well. I already did them. You can see them up above. I figured you didn't wanna sit through it. So then now we are gonna take these little stickers. These are the snowflake ones on this set. They're from Dollar Tree. I had them from last year. I don't know if they have them this year. You can use any of the Dollar Tree little snowflake like stickers. They have a bunch of them. And we're gonna glue one on top of the middle section to cover up where they are stuck together basically to make it look prettier. Then I'm taking this wood round, it's like MDF, it's not real wood that I had in my stash and I'm painting it white. You can use any of the Dollar Tree rounds too and paint it white. I just was gonna stick these together but they didn't work out the other way. So I'm doing it this way. You can see some of the tips are a little messed up because I took them apart. We're gonna start off by taking two and putting them across from each other to have a base and then we're gonna stick the other two in in between them and take one of these puffy Dollar Tree snowflakes I had in my stash. I think they had them this year and put it in the middle and then put the last little sticker on top of it. And this is what this looks like. 
It is really, really pretty. You can put some two-sided tape on it and stick it on the wall, or you can actually make a hanger on the back of it out of twine so you can put it over a hook. But this is what I'm going to do with mine. I have a Dollar Tree candle that has little tiny feet on it that I'm gonna set in the center of it and make it just a nice little candle holder. It's pretty big, but my dining room table is huge, so I can make a couple of these and put them on the table. And you can put candles in them up to any height you want as long as they have like a little feet on the bottom of them. So comment down below, let me know, will you make either one of these? I just love doing paper crafts and these are super easy. You can actually do these with glue sticks and not with hot glue with your kids. I was gonna do this with my granddaughter, but like I said, she didn't make it over here today and I wanted to post something on my channel. So that is it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for always watching and if you're not a subscriber, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here and I will be bringing you more Christmas style DIYs coming at you really soon. Bye loves.